Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm here with Mikey Barra from the Xbox engineering team. Mike, it's great to see you. It's great to be here, Larry. We are here to talk about the next updates coming to Xbox, and there's a lot of cool stuff coming along, isn't there? Yeah, the team's really excited. We've been working for the last few months. The update actually comes out today on preview mm -hmm. and will be available to everybody this summer. Let's talk about some of the features that people are going to see. I'm hearing Cortana's coming in. Yeah, one of the biggest requests we get is, hey, when's Cortana coming to Xbox? Mm -hmm. It's on the PC and the phone now. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that'll be a major feature coming this summer. Now, what are some of the things that Cortana is going to bring to the console, some of the new features we'll be able to take advantage of? Yeah, we've designed Cortana to make sure we keep gamers in the game, make it easier for them to do things on their Xbox and on the Xbox app. Mm -hmm. Some of my personal favorites are, hey Cortana, what's Major Nelson Larry doing? Mm -hmm. And I can immediately see what you're doing on the Xbox system. One thing I love when I'm playing a game is I can instantly start a party using Cortana. Tell folks how that works. Yeah, it's really simple. If you and I want to get in a party together, I just say, hey Cortana, start a party with Major Nelson, immediately we're in the party playing. Which is great because Cortana recognizes your real name and your gamer tag. Yeah, absolutely. I've noticed we're using Hey Cortana now. Is this going to be the new command? Yeah, it's important for us to drive a consistency across any device someone might be using Cortana. So Hey Cortana is how you use it on your desktop, on your phone. Bringing that to Xbox just makes the experience consistent. There's a lot of folks that don't have Connect. How will Cortana work for them? Yeah, so one of the things we hear from fans is, hey, I don't have Connect, but I really like voice commands. They seem really cool on Xbox. And so with Cortana, the ability to use a headset to do voice commands will be there. It also increases our accuracy a lot. So the consistency of people using voice commands will result in what they want. Mike, the team has also done some great work about making sure that gamers can stay connected with other gamers. What does that mean? Yeah, you know, gamers play all types of games, some on Windows, some on Xbox. And so what we wanted to do is make sure they can see what their friends are doing. If you're on your console playing a game and your friend is playing a Windows game, you'll be able to see that they're playing the Windows game. Message them, party them, anything you want to do. Same in the Xbox app. If, we're, if I'm playing an Xbox game and you're playing any game from Steam, for example, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be able to see that you're playing that game. I can message you. I can start a party. It's really about uniting gamers together no matter where they're playing. Mike, over on the Xbox One, your team has done some really neat work around collections. Tell me about that. Yeah, we get a lot of feedback around. I want to manage, make it easier to manage my collection. Mm -hmm. We're changing that to scroll vertical now. We're going to give fans the ability to put more density, more games on the screen that they want. Mm -hmm. Very cool features, like I can see how fast something's downloading, so I know when I can get into the game. Now, I'm all digital at home, and one of the features that I love the best is I can now view by grouped. So now I can either they're arranged alphabetically, but now I can go instantly to a part of an alphabet so I can go right to the game that I'm looking for. Yeah, you want to find a game that starts with S instead of scrolling all the way down and go right to the letter and be right at the game. I also noticed over here on the left side, ready to install. It used to be way over on the right. Now it's right here at the top level so I can find out the games that I want to get ready to play. Yeah, instead of scrolling all the way to the right, waiting for ready to install to load up, it's right there on the top menu. Mike, we've also got some changes on home here. Tell us about that. Yeah, we brought my games and apps all the way up to the top of home. Uh, and so you can also see if you're downloading or installing something, a status right below that on completion. Another feature that we added is just the ability to use LT and RT to page up and page down in collection. So if you have a lot of games in there, you can easily get to where you want to get to. Mike, in this next update, we're also doing a lot of work around the Xbox Store. Where we're going to take the Xbox Store and the Windows Store and combine them. What does that mean for fans at home? Yeah, it's going to let us solve some of the feedback we get where fans see multiple versions of the same game and they're confused about which one they purchase. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it's going to let us deliver a lot of great features in the future. Facebook Friend Finder has been on the Xbox app for some time. I understand it's now coming to the console. Yeah, with this update, the Facebook Friend Finder will come to the console. So people that link their accounts will be able to see all their friends on Facebook that play on Xbox and grow their friends that they can play with. The team has done some great work around making the feed more personal, including some new options. Tell us about the new options there. Yeah, we want to give users control, be able to, to say, hey, I want to post achievements, screenshots, game DVR clips, all to my feed, or just achievements, so mm -hmm. that the things they want to share mm -hmm. with all their friends on Xbox Live is what their friends see. You're also allowing us some more flexibility with editing. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, if a user turns off auto-upload of the game clips because they want to go on their PC and really spice them up with some good software, you can use any video editing software you want now, upload them through the Xbox app and share them to your friends. So that means on Windows 10, I'll be able to pull down my clips, open up my favorite video software, put them all in there with some cool wipes and fades, and then put it back into my feed so everybody can see it. That's right. Mikey Barr from Xbox Engineering, thanks for joining us. Thank you.